Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crew for YouTuber that's trying to have a year long no buy. And because I am having a year long no buy, I want this year <laughs> to be like, I want to discover my collection more. And if you're new here and if you haven't been here, I am doing some theme weeks from time to time that I think is really, really fun. I did two Halloween weeks in October and I have had collab palettes weeks and throwback week and other <laughs> weeks. And sometimes I do like talk about the palette that I'm going to use in an upcoming theme week. I'm not always doing that, but today I just felt for doing that and want to like talk about the palette that is going to be in my new theme. And I'm planning on having this theme week up next week. Um, I hope it will work. So I've picked out five palettes and the theme that is coming is my forgotten palettes from Colourpop. So I picked out five palettes that I haven't used that much. Some of these I have used a little bit more or one of them. But then I has just like I haven't used them. I don't know if I've used any of these palettes this year, if I'm going to be honest. I don't think so, and it is November. So I'm going to show you the five palettes, and I do hope that you will like this. So the first Colpa palette is a palette that I've talked so much about the latest. It feels like I've talk have talked about this in every video I have done the least weeks when I talk about palettes and that is the California Love. If you don't know like the story behind this palette, I was shopping at Colourpop and was like maybe I'm going to throw in another palette because they aren't like super expensive and for me that lives in Sweden when I am ordering for Colourpop I sometimes just throw in palettes either to have like free shipping or just because I'm shopping at Colourpop. And I did take the California Love because I wanted a neutral palette with an orange tone to it because I do love orange. So I bought this and this was one of the palettes, you know, when you're shopping at Colourpop and it looks amazing on their site. Like I have, yeah, it was cat hair. Um, it was and then I got it home and I wasn't like that excited. I think I've done a video with this one and I maybe have used it some other time outside of YouTube. But I haven't been like in love with this one. And I really thought that this was going to be my, my new favorite neutral orangey palette. But it wasn't. So I was like I'm going to use this and I'm going to see what I really think. And I don't know what it is, but I think it's too little of an orange and like too a little, maybe a little bit more cold tone that I wished for. Which is going to be fun to use this and see if I really can get a look out of this that I like and that like can convince me to use this palette more. Sometimes with Colourpop it's just like you have to use the palettes more to see what you're missing out on. The next palette I picked is a palette that I have used 13 times or 14 times and um, why you might know why I know that it's because it is the Zodiac palette which I did a series with. Uh, I used one of, uh, I used each and every shade on the month that is the sign and then I did a palette being on it and it was a fun series to do but some of the shades aren't are just so bad and this is a really confusing color palette you know like some of the shades are amazing but the shades that you want to be that you want to be amazing like this one it is pure shit and it's going to be fun to use this as a whole palette and only use this and like see the look because i did a palette bingo in the end of that series and it wasn't like the colors that I wanted to use and I'm so sorry but I guess that I have cat hair somewhere yeah I had a cat hair inside of my nose 
and it's going to be fun to do a look that I pick all the shades myself with this one and see maybe because we had a little problematic relationship me in this palette because some of the shades are so bad it's going to be fun to see like I know that I love Gemini and I think that this one was good as well maybe I should just watch um, some of the looks that I did with this to see or maybe just blind going in blind to it the next palette is a palette that I was so so excited about I thought that like I was going to love this because I saw Anjelka Nyqvist do some amazing looks with it I got it home and I didn't like the look that much that I did with it and it's the Lush Life palette and uh, it looks like this this is a little bit of everything I guess and I think like I wanted to do something with this green and then I wanted to do some of the orange shades and it wasn't like a super bad look but it wasn't a super good look and after that I was like hmm, I don't know so it's going to be fun to see if I can do an amazing look of the with this maybe bluish greenish look I have actually no idea I think this palette looks more fun than it really is if you like break it down if we take away these four colors it's not that fun anymore but then yeah I don't know it's not the deep colors I, I don't know why but I really really wanted this one and uh, yeah we will see <laughs> maybe I don't uh, like the next look I do with this so the last two palettes is one is a collab palette and the other one is a palette that I can't like remember why I bought. Uh, the collab palette is the one with Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight. I have never been a big Raw Beauty Christie fan. I watched some of her videos. I have like nothing to say about her. I don't dislike her, but it's I don't even think that I'm subscribing to her. But I really was intrigued with this color story because it was so deep but I think that is also why I haven't used it that much and it only has like two shimmers and I often think that Colourpop do really good shimmers often not always but often they do really good shimmers and I really do like to use shimmers in my makeup I sometimes do completely matte looks but it's not a favorite I think shimmers is more fun at least right now and when I bought this one so I don't know and I have no idea what I want to do with this either I have no look planned for this but I know that I want to use this more I did buy this when it released because I was so afraid that it was going to get out of stock and that I wasn't going to get it I did get it I used it once and what I can remember I think I did like the look that I did with this I'm not sure but I think I did so I just think that I need to dig into this one but I don't know only two shimmers and it's Astrid one of our cats that is playing with something I don't know and the last palette is also like a palette that I saw people do amazing looks with and I was ordering from Colourpop and I was like okay I buy it and that is the Mandalorian no Mandalorian the child I am not a big Star Wars fan I've seen all the Star Wars movies like the first six so the three old ones and the three new ones I haven't watched any of the series I haven't watched any of the new Disney bought uh, Star Wars and yeah uh, you maybe know it really so I do not dislike Star Wars but it's nothing like I'm a Star Wars fan in that way uh, the palette looks like this and this was a palette that a lot of my friends did use and I did really like the looks I think this is though a little bit muted and uh, I don't know maybe I can do some really good looks with this I have no idea but it's going to be fun to use it and use more of the shimmers I think I it was such a long time ago since I did use this palette so I have no idea what I did no idea at all I think I might have used this shimmer but yeah I'm trying to like figure out what I want to do with this one but I have no idea 
So it's going to be fun to do this week because I haven't used these palettes much at all except for uh, the Zodiac palette that I have some... I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. I'm mm, a little bit of a problematic relationship, maybe I would say. So I do hope that you look forward to this Colourpop week. I do have a lot of palettes from Colourpop and I usually don't use them that often because it feels like with Colourpop that if you don't use one of the new releases even though that is like impossible because they release things every week and I am on a no buy but it feels like if you're not releasing Colourpop feels like a brand where you use a makeup an eyeshadow palette when it's new and it's hot and then you forget about it that is the feeling that I have with Colourpop but yeah I do hope that you're looking forward to this week I am and it's going to be see fun to see like can I do some amazing looks and really change my mind about this palette because to be honest I don't know if I would miss any of these palettes if I didn't have them in my collection but I don't know it's going to be fun to see what I do really think so yeah I hope that you like this video and if you have if you're known to my eyeshadow palette collection if you have like a theme that you want me to do just comment and I will try to do it. I am planning on maybe start to have like vote things on my community tab which because I have some themes that I want to do but if you have some special themes you want me to do I like to do five palettes I think that is a good amount so I can like fill up a whole week um so yeah if you're not subscribed to my channel please do and if there is any special theme you want to that you want me to do just let me know and I will try to fix it uh, and I hope to see you in the next video I hate when I mess this up bye